Hi, this is Casey, and I'm really excited today because I am going to be showing you guys Lay Van Pierre by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So this deck actually wasn't supposed to be released for another three months, but Blue Angel Publishing decided to release it early. Um, it was originally up for pre-order on Amazon.com for $21, and I had pre-ordered it the day it was available because um, I've been waiting for this deck for like two years since I first announced it I was like I need this deck but they released it three months early um, so of course I canceled my pre-order I was like I need this now um, it ended up being about forty six dollars because it's shipping from Australia and I'm in the US and it costs thirty five dollars but I was like you know what I don't even care like <laughs> an extra like twenty dollars to get it three months earlier than it was supposed to come out not a problem for me so Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Becker Griffith also did Oracle of Shadows and Light and Oracle of the Shapeshifters together and those are two of my favorite decks of all time um, I actually got a tattoo dedicated to Oracle of Shadows and Light because that deck was just so life-changing for me and um I would show you right now but it's on my foot I'm in my dorm room right now and I have to go to class soon but I wanted to do this quick because there's no videos on it um, it just came out. I haven't even gotten a chance to work with it yet. But I wanted to show everybody all of the cards because um, they've been kind of hard to find online. I could only find about eight images. Um, I know that if you go on blueangelonline.com, they have five sample images. They also have it on their Facebook page. Sorry. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. So this is the box, and it's so beautiful. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Um, it's just a standard Blue Angel Publishing box, you know, they're always good. Um, and this is the guidebook, I'll save the cards the best for last. Um, it's actually the thinnest of any of the decks I have by Lucy Cavendish, and I have all of them. Um, actually, I don't have Magical Spell cards, and I don't have Oracle Tarot, but, um, Oracle of Shadows and Light, Shapeshifters, Wild Wisdom of the Fairy, um, Oracle of the Mermaids, those are all... She kind of found, like, a style, um, so I kind of group all those together, but of all of those kinds, um, the decks are usually a bit bigger, but there's, um, it's not a bad introduction. There's 23 pages of introduction, um, she includes three spreads, so there's the Trinity spread, which is just, like, basic past, present, future, um, the Path Through the Night spread, which is 13 cards, and, um, I have, like I said, I haven't done any of these yet, but I'm excited to start working with it. I just wanted to kind of do a first look video in the Byzantine cross spread, which is kind of like an extended past, present, future. In the beginning of the book, she just talks about, um, a little bit about who are the vampires, why would the vampires want to help me, why should I work with them, um, what they will help you with, are vampires real, and just kind of stuff like that. So the uh, setup for the cards is a little bit different than usual. Um, this deck actually uses reversals. And usually, uh, well, I shouldn't say usually. Uh, Oracle of the Mermaids uses reversals, but I tend to never read reversals with that deck. I don't know. I just, I feel like they're meant to be read upright. It's different with tarot. I'll read reversals with those. But um, Oracle cards are a bit different for me, but... I'm, I kind of am curious to try it out with this deck. So they have the Being Speak. They also have a Blessing, which is the upright card, and a Curse, which is the reversed. And then they have Working with the card. So I haven't read through um, the individual card meanings yet, but I've read the introduction. She really encourages you to read the card meanings. Um, and I usually do, but... Anyway, let's get on to the cards because they are stunning. So this is the back of them. All right, let me see if I can get this in a better light. That should help somewhat. This is the back of the cards. And as for cardstock, um, they're pretty good. They, I mean, they're thin, but they're not too thin. They're not like paper. They're... They're fine. I mean, they have a shiny finish. Um, like, they'll work. I'm sure with a lot of use, um, they won't become too warped or anything, so that's fine. But I'm going to show you all of the cards. 
Um, they are beautiful, but I will let them speak for themselves. So, uh, I don't know how I'm really going to do this. I guess I'm just going to show you guys the cards one at a time. So this is the first one. Eternal youth, energy, newness, and vitality. I can't read backwards. Um, it's not going to be backwards when you guys see it, but you can see them for themselves. So I'm not going to read them out loud, but... And they're very standard um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith artwork, which is always stunning, always completely beautiful. Um, I find her decks just lovely. I love her artwork. I love when she works together with Lucy Cavendish. I feel like uh, they just create something magical every single time. And I really hope that this isn't the last time that they do a project together. So just so this video isn't too long, I'm going to just kind of go through them, but um, if you want to read the keywords or you want to look at the picture a little better, feel free to pause the video. Um, I'm sorry for the light, I'm also sorry that the quality is not that amazing, but um, here's a first look at the cards, and a lot of these paintings I've never seen before. Um, I go on Jasmine's website, Strangeling, quite often because I love her prints, but um, a lot of these are really new for me, so that's always really exciting. Um, I also like it when when ordering a new deck, you haven't seen all the pictures yet. Usually, like, the decks I order, they've been out for a while, but um, I love this image. Oh, my God. But um, it's kind of fun, like, to have new images, new surprises, and a lot of the pictures in here are actually... Um, pieces of art that I wouldn't really expect from Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, or not that I wouldn't expect from her, but they're different than her usual style. Um, a lot of them are, like, very, very close up, and I'll get to those when we get to them. But, um, there's a lot of wolves, there's a lot of cats in here, obviously vampires. Um, this is the image on the back. There's a lot of skulls, a lot of bones, which I'm really into. So, this deck is a lot darker than, say, Oracle of the Shapeshifters, but at the same time, it is a very welcoming energy. Um, they're very bright, very beautiful, and it almost feels like the deck as a whole doesn't really have, like, one general kind of feel to it, but every individual being on each of the cards has, like, their own personality. Um, this is one of those extreme close-up ones I was talking about, and I really like it. Like, even the name, Thirst, and it says, Craving Compulsion Obsession. Like, I love that. And it's so vampiric. Like, it's it's nice. Um, but, yeah, a lot of these images, um, they're new works for her. Some of them I've seen before, but overall, the collection of paintings that they chose are just absolutely fantastic, absolutely beautiful. As always, um... I love this one too. It's so beautiful. And the messages in this deck, um, it's, I like the way that they did them because they all are very much related to the theme, but it almost feels like there's more of a diversity than with, say, Oracle of Shadows and Light. Um, the messages cover a lot of ground and that's kind of nice. Um, I'll actually read the back for you guys. A stunning deck designed for those facing difficult decisions, upheaval in relationships, or wishing to move away from draining careers, situations, or people. So, obviously, vampires, draining of blood. So, I mean, come on. But, um, it's all kind of centered around that idea of draining situations, kind of moving on into a brighter part of your life, leaving behind the old and getting in with the new. And I feel like that's always um, a great theme, one that's very... Uh, appropriate for an oracle deck. Um, in this, I can't wait to start working with it, and I will do a more formal review um, probably once I've worked with it for a while, but I did just want to show you guys off the new deck. Um, the backs, you can't really find those anywhere, I or not yet at least, which is why I wanted to do this. Um, just kind of give a basic overview, show off all the cards to anybody who's interested and wanted to see them all, maybe somebody who's not sure if they want to buy it or not, um, and I hope you guys can read the words for these. Um, I mean, I'm sure the images will be enough to capture you, so if you 
love these by the end of it, you'll decide to get it and you'll be able to see the words. But um, again, this would be like way too long of a video if I read them all. Um, but like, look how beautiful it is. It's it's so classic Jasmine and um, classic Lucy as well. Um, it's stunning. It has a very magical feel. And, I don't know, there's not much else I can say about it besides um, the obviously aesthetic stuff because I haven't worked with it yet, but just every single card takes my breath away. And this is like an image, for example, it's not really vampiric, but it's um, an image I've, I've known this image for a while and I've always loved it, so I was really surprised and really excited to see it in this deck. Um, it's not just straight vampires, there's a lot of wolves, there's a lot of, uh, I kind of went over this, like, skulls and stuff. It's like a darker theme, not very much, um, specifically geared or centered around vampires. It's just kind of a dark theme, but, um, the mood of the deck, vampires, definitely fits it. So this is the last card, there's 44, and I hope you guys enjoy this first look, and I hope you uh, decide, or not decide to get it, but I hope that it lived up to your expectations, and if it did, I absolutely, uh, I absolutely recommend, uh, trying it out and getting it, because I have a feeling it's going to be absolutely fantastic, so thank you for watching, bye!